anytime a person falls or has a blow to the head, a couple of different things can happen. You can have a bleeding episode into the head, or you can have swelling of the brain, basically like a bruising of the brain. Anytime we hear a story about a patient like this who has a blow to the head and then they're seemingly fine and then take a terrible turn for the worse, we immediately think about a bleeding episode in the head between the skull and the surface of the brain called an epidural hematoma, which basically just means that an artery ripped under the skull and started bleeding. For a few minutes or even a few hours, that might not cause any symptoms, but as pressure starts to build up in the brain, the person might start to get headaches or dizziness or vomiting. They might even have a seizure. And then as the pressure continues to build, that can be rapidly fatal if it's not detected and the bleeding isn't stopped and the blood clot isn't removed by surgery. How hard do you have to hit your head to have this type of injury? Unfortunately, it doesn't really have to be hard at all because if it's just bad luck and that artery is torn, you can have a pretty minor injury where there's not even any outward signs that you've been hurt at all. A small, you know, a fall down the stairs, a fall from a standing height, especially, now this isn't in her case if you're, if, if the person's elderly, uh, or we don't know anything about uh, Ms. Richardson's medical history, if she was taking aspirin uh, or some medication that would cause her blood to be thin, or if she had any liver problems that would make her more prone to bleeding or some other medical condition that would make her more prone to bleeding. So that, although it's usually the case that that type of injury is associated with a more severe head injury, like a terrible car accident or a fall from a very high height, that type of injury doesn't have to come from a very severe blow to the head. And so it's very unfortunate, and in, in this case, just terrible, a terrible, terrible tragedy. It's, it is a tragedy. Do helmets help prevent, prevent these injuries? Yes, a, a helmet would have, uh, could have lessened the blow, but goodness, who, you know, who wears a helmet on a, a, beginner a, slope. On a bunny slope, you know? Yeah. And, and I think, I think if, you know, although certainly nothing good can come of this for, for her family and friends, if, if there's a lesson to, for us to all think about, people should want to consider wearing proper safety gear when they're doing some type of athletic activity or a sport that might let them incur a head injury. And people, I think, are starting to get into the trend where they're having their children wear helmets while skiing, but I, I don't think a lot of adults are doing this, and certainly not in a lower-risk situation uh, like it sounds like she was in. So a, a helmet will lessen the force of the impact and, and might have helped in, in this situation, 